Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a PayPal payments getaway in your WooCommerce website in 2023. So we're going to dive into the world of online payments by integrating PayPal as a payments gateway into your WordPress uh, or sorry, WooCommerce powered website. So if you're eager to offer customers a secure seam a seamless payments experience, stick around and let's explore the step-by-step -step process of adding PayPal to your WooCommerce store. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically, you'll have first of all to go and create a PayPal account, PayPal business account, if you don't have one. To do so, go to this URL section, type paypal.com, of course, and just go and log in into an account, as an example. So for me, I'm already like logged in. For me, I'll just go even close this. I'll go to private window. So go to paypal.com and show you basically how it look like for you. So let me just go to English in here. And as you can see, you'll be able to go to the top right corner, log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, click on sign up for free to create a new account. Make sure to choose business account and click on continue and create your business account. Of course, you're not a robot and I'm not going through all of that. So once you have your account now, now you'll have to go and set up or install first of all the WooCommerce plugin so you can access your WordPress dashboard and navigate into the plugin so just access or let's just go to WooCommerce of course if you go to Wook okay I need to add 1m yeah so go to WooCommerce.com which is Woo.com and of course you'll have to log in at your account if you don't have an if you have an account and if you don't you'll have to go and click on get started instead so if you click on login in here they should like log me into my account right away as you can see yeah this one so click on continue to this account so this is my account and in here as an example i'm already like logged into my accounts so what i'll need to do now is simply on this dashboard as you can see so popular products and marketplace uh, trading products as an example so what we want let me just close this is simply go and install the paypal plugin so if we go here, basically to payments, go in here and click on payments. As you can see, you'll be able to like add the payments method for you to pay like for your subscriptions and something like that. But you want to add payments for your store as example. So if we go as example to the store and click on manage store, something expected happens. Maybe they just have a problem. So anyway, basically. To of course access your store, this will be doing through WordPress. So you can go to your WordPress right away. Go to WordPress.com. Of course, let me just open my local host in this meantime. Log in into your account or create your account. And of course, to do so, you'll have to go to WooCommerce. And on your WooCommerce, you'll have to go to plugins. Or even in WordPress, you can go to plugins. Once you go to plugins, as an example for me, I'll do that into localhost. So go to this plugins in here. Make sure to go and click on add new and you'll find yourself in here so go and click on search plugins in here as example inside paypal so wait for them until the search and as you can see you'll have to look for woocommerce paypal payments so as you can see paypal last payments processing solution accepts paypal pay later credits and debit card alternative digital wallets and bank accounts by woocommerce so this is exactly what it wants as you can see for me, it's already installed and activated, but for you, click on install now, then activate it. Of course, if you want more details about it, I'll just show it to you here. So this is like the description. You can pause the video and read this out by your own if you want to. Installation, how to install an example. Frequently asked questions. If you have one of these questions, again, you can pause the video. Uh, change logs, screenshots, how it's going to look like on your website. You'll find like a PayPal option. People can click on it and pay with it as an example. You'll have just simply just enable it and the reviews of people what people are saying so yeah that's it for me i'll just go and click on installed plugin here on this list panel because as i said it's already installed for me and i can simply scroll down until i find like woocommerce paypal payments so i'll go here and click on settings once i do so of course i'll have to wait for the page until it loads so i'll have to scroll down and as you can see for me my accounts even already like uh, connected for you, you will find an activate option 
click on that activate option and this will take you like to connect or to log into your account if you already like if you click here on paypal.com or type to paypal.com and you find out yourself that you already logged in that means if you click on accept or activate you don't have to enter your credentials to log in into your paypal you'll just have to authorize or connect and it will be very easy to do so now what you'll need to do as you can see you'll be able even to enable like the google pay apple pay uh, even enable the advanced card payment so basically you'll be able to change or customize the settings of the app uh, paypal payments however you want as you can see you can go and even change the standard payment uh, settings so here the title like paypal description will be pay, pay via paypal and uh, instance will be capture authorized depending on whatever you want brand name user blog landing page a login or billing not paypal account or for paypal account will be logged in so disable alternative payments debit credit card so smart button location will be on those options so basically as you can see the button will be something like that this is going to be the preview you can change it however you want you can make it horizontal button level you can make a checkout uh, as example do whatever you want color you can make it blue let it like gold shape you can make it pill or rectangle whatever you want and this is of course for checkout buttons for single product buttons so whatever you change in here it will you will see how it's gonna look like in here so make sure to go and check that or change that all once you finish click on save changes and of course this is for like the standard payment if you want to any even enable this pay later option you'll be able to do so you can enable the paypal features for your store sorry and you can enable this uh, pay later button sorry so enable it check it out if you want to enable it if you don't just don't don't check it you will have to change the settings again however you want and for you already like congratulations you've connected that to wordpress website if you go to your wordpress website now you'll have to add these buttons you'll find them like already done you'll have to add them whenever you want and you'll be good to go or change even the location of them so now what you'll need to do before even making your store live uh, enable the sandbox mode of course i guess it will be here in standard payments uh, you will have to enable the, sand, uh, the sandbox mode of course to check for example if we keep scrolling down i don't know where to find this exactly but it should be somewhere around here maybe it will be in the connection so you will have to enable this sandbox of option y to test just uh, in the woocommerce of course paypal settings to conduct like a test transaction using paypal sandbox environment to ensure payments pro processing uh, function correctly you can then monitor the pay uh, paypal uh, like transaction and you'll be good to go so as you can see to test your woocommerce installation you'll have to go into sandbox mode so check that out test it and you'll be good to go so congratulations for you you've already done this so thank you for watching and goodbye